Welcome back to Mid Morning. We're learning more about an upcoming event by CASA to benefit abused and neglected children. And we have a superhero in our midst. Joining us now is Melinda Jamison to tell us more. You look great. Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. Tell us about what is CASA? What do y'all do? Absolutely. It stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates, and we use trained and supervised volunteers known as CASAs to advocate for child abuse, child neglect victims in the family court system. And you all have a couple of different events every year. One of my favorite is the Superhero Run. Tell us about that. Yes, we are the same. It's my favorite as well, Victor. So the Superhero Run is where every child needs a hero, abused children need superheroes. And there is really something for everyone. It is this Saturday out at Windstar Farm, kicking off at 8.30. There's a Kids 1K, they'll all get a cape and a medal. And then we have the 5K that is chip time. So awards for fast folks, but also 350 figurines on the course, over $20,000 dollars in prizes to be given away followed by a festival with a petting zoo train rides foam pit inflatables face painting by one of your own right here at 27 and all kinds of things happening and every finisher gets a crumble cookie Ooh, enticing for sure what are the age um, ages that can compete so 10 and under can participate in the 1k and then we take all ages for the 5k and if people have never been to this uh, tell me what the, what the atmosphere is kind of like you have a lot of people running in costume Absolutely. So we partner with Comic-Con. We also have some Disney princesses out there. So I say it's sort of like uh, Disney comes to Central Kentucky on a majestic Windstar Farm. So you might see horses as you're walking or running that 5K. And there really is something for everyone. There also will be pizza out there from Hunt Brothers, donuts, all kinds of activities. So even if you've never done a 5K, this is the one to do. Why is this important to you? So two ways, one, this raises funds. So if you don't know, Kentucky's been number one for child abuse, child neglect. We recently fell to number five, nothing to celebrate. But so all of these funds go to provide more children right here in our community. We serve a seven county area with CASA advocates. For every thousand dollars, we can serve another child for a year. And number two, it's a lot of fun. As Victor knows, I mean, who doesn't have fun putting on a cape and tights? And it's optional, but definitely makes it more fun. And how much of a difference does it make when a kid's going through that system to have somebody advocating just for them? A ton. So for many of our children, these CASA volunteers are the true superheroes. So they're the only constant they may have through the entire process. Many of our kids are in six or seven different homes, which could mean different schools, different teachers, but that CASA volunteer stays with them as a constant. Three of our children said it best when they got moved to a fifth placement in three months. The CASA volunteer pulled up, they ran out the door, they said, we knew you'd find us. And I think that about wraps it up right there, what it can mean to these children. All True. right, if people want to register, I guess the website there, the best place to do that. Yes, absolutely. We appreciate it. Keep it here on Mid Morning.